Welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, today I got this nice big round pile of firewood and I'm going to uh, throw another attempt at creating a solar kiln. So I did buy a few things off of Amazon. So uh, stay tuned and check out what I got going on. So I did purchase this vinyl tarp and I believe this is six and a half feet by 20 long. Before I go any further, I'm going to mark the middle of this. So I'm marking the middle, and I'm going to put the middle right up front here. Quickly, I'm going to split uh, these two pieces up. I think this is a uh, oak piece and a maple piece, and I'm going to test the moisture content before I get things uh, set up on the solar kiln. Okay, so the best way to get uh, an accurate moisture content uh, reading is splitting the piece of wood in half. So this is at 30, looks like 29.7, so just a little bit over 29. This should be the same exact. Yeah, 29. The maple. 25.8 so hopefully in about a month this will all be under 20% uh, Okay, it's, so it's a very windy day. Um, there is some rain coming in, so that's why I'm trying to uh, rush to get this done. Uh, there's a reason I left this gap, and you're gonna kinda find out what that's all about here in uh, just a few minutes. I did purchase a, another solar kit off of Amazon. I think this is $49.99, and this is a one panel that will run two fans. So I do have a scrap piece of OSB um, here on the floor. And that's what I'm gonna mount my fans to and then mount that around the tarps. These are two five inch fans. So what I'm gonna do is I'll get a hole saw, drill through the OSB, mount this, and then hopefully we'll see if she works. Okay, there's one. Okay, so not a lot of sun out today, but I will be able to test this.
Okay, I'm gonna screw these into place next. Okay. Is he being good? Yeah, he's being really good to me. Well, good. Because he can't, because he can't move. That's why. Okay, I got the solar panel with the bracket installed. Um, there is a wing nut on each side, so I'll be able to change the angle. Um, and then I got two uh, inlets or outlets for the power of each fan. So I'm gonna start dragging this out and. So I'm also mounting a thermometer with a humidity reading, and I'm gonna uh, stick this probe down the middle so I can get a, uh, a reading of that as well. So let me get a ladder here. Okay, that's mounted, currently 50 degrees, overcast, 75% humidity, and that's inside the pile. Okay, I got it all wrapped up. Um, I ran short on some of my tarps, so I used an old uh, greenhouse cover, and uh, that'll help let some heat and some light in to get this dried up. Next, I have some steel roofing from an old project that I'm gonna repurpose uh, and throw this on the top. Gonna throw some uh, cement blocks up top to keep the uh, steel from blowing away. I'm gonna take some Tyvek tape and tape this flap up. Um, I don't want the wind destroying this. Hey guys, that's uh, a wrap. I got it covered up. Um, so I'm gonna get my fans hooked up here in a minute. Okay, there is my completion of the German Holzenhausen solar kiln. So all covered up at the top. There is gaps where the uh, tarps go to the top and can breathe at the top and at the bottom as well. I've got my fans about ready to be hooked up now. So we will be in business soon my only problem is is it's a very overcast day so let's see how this uh, all comes together
Okay, I'm just about ready to hook up the panels. So fans are running, it is 50 degrees out, 76% humidity, uh, so we're going to see if these fans help push some air through. Uh, today is not the ideal day for solar, but um, I do have it up and running. I have my, my solar panel is facing south, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll also play with the angle. Um, I found this pallet along the side of the road, so I grabbed it, so I figured I'd utilize that for this project. But, uh, yeah, it's all done. Okay, that is a wrap for the solar kiln Holzenhausen uh, wood pile. Uh, so it is all covered up. It is going to rain today into tomorrow, so I'll be able to um, see how this works over the coming weeks. So I'm going to leave this in the kiln for about a month. So mid-April or end of April, I'll pull this out. So right now the wood is between 25 and 29% um, percent moisture content. So we're going to see if that uh, comes down at all and how fast. But that's all I got for you today, guys. I appreciate the support of the channel. Thank you, and have a great day.